Hey y'all, I hope that you're doing well. Thanks for joining for uh, Energy Check. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you and all of that. Happy birthday, happy anniversary as well. If it is a special day for anyone and if you're down and out, I send you love and light. If you are brand spanking new, listen, I read my tarot a lot different than a lot of people. And anything goes on my channel and you will hear information at times that can be very disturbing as well. Um, I feel energy and sometimes my energy flow is over the top. So you just have to brace yourself and stuff like that. I'm not religious at all, but I really am going to come across real heavy that way, I'm sure, towards some people. Um, the, the tarot has a scripture within it and uh, I, I keep the covenant of the ten commandments commandments and I have a Hebraic descent and so um, I honor the scripture the high priestess actually holds the Torah on her lap where we get our faith and so if you didn't know that the scripture was found here it absolutely is and uh, I teach about it on my channel or I have in the past on my YouTube channel so uh, anyway just let you know who I am in a nutshell and who I'm connecting with which is Yehovah Elohim maker of heaven and earth he says that's my name forever and so you'll hear me say Yehovah and uh, he is Yeshua which is salvation I love his son that walked among us in the flesh the son of David uh, he's the Christ and that's who I confess all right so this is who I am. Take it, leave it, do whatever you got to do with it. But I'm glad that you're here. If you do stay, come and grow with us. All right. I think I'm going to do a little spread here. Okay. We're going to talk about being generous. Okay. Out here. That's the past uh, position. Okay. Somebody was generous. Somebody got paid off. Somebody got the skills over their head as well. Show me the now. Show me the now. We'll just do a past, present, future. Show me the now, please, Jehovah. Thank you. So there's a lot in the now. Boy. Um, I've seen this Eight of Cups several times today. Somebody's back and forth about walking away from something. And somebody's got an emotional investment and a, and a uh, financial investment that's here. Okay, somebody's been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth around some situation, trying to get their balance. Okay, this is this is a beautiful gift straight from the divine's hand. And if somebody's gonna, you know, make the decision to go get the ninth cup and to fulfill something, then that's great. Um, somebody been waiting and waiting for a long time since so sitting here trying to um, secure something, I guess, whatever this payout was, or whoever was being generous, or whatever the contractual thing is, whatever the gift was. It's brought it to a, what do I do, or I'm trying to get my my balance to um, secretly, physically exchanging something as well. Somebody could be very greedy out here in the now within this energy. Uh, seven Pentacles, though, is waiting, waiting, wait. Somebody waiting to move on. Somebody waiting for a decision so they can move on. Somebody's moving on because somebody won't make a decision as well whatever that is okay there's a lot of money out here a lot large sums of it okay Some, something about being generous is back here as well show me uh the future the next 24 hours somebody really trying to secure something and i did a reading earlier and somebody was holding up somebody Come on already, make a decision, somebody said. And somebody was like, I'm really turned off because everything's always got to go your way. And there's stubbornness here within that energy. Okay, so somebody's got some possibly some type of hidden agenda because of what's been secretly physically exchanged or is being physically exchanged right now, causing somebody to have to sit there and hang on to something. Uh, this so be it. But there is a blessing showing up here with that um Pentacle, uh, there also could be somebody not opening up because there's a pregnancy situation around some ordeal as well. Next 24 hours, we have communicate. We have a lot of pentacles coming out. A lot. This is trying to figure out maybe going to get some type of counsel somewhere about some it ordeal. Look at that. There's all kinds of pentacles. This could be work out here. That's eight pentacles in it. So somebody is somebody losing their job because they're just back and forth, back and forth all the freaking time and won't open up, won't open up because something or won't work on something if it's not work issues. This feeling left out in the cold, being thrown out or something like that is here. Okay, if there's third parties, or then there's, there, there is. There's a lot of people in here. There's strife out here because a judgment's going to be made. It's going to be known about. 
Could be known about. So this is work. This is the letter resh in the Hebrew. It represents the head, the man, the boss, the chief of something is here. Maybe you play for the chiefs. I don't know. We had a football player come out earlier. Let me go ahead and take a couple more um, um, cards on the past position. We do have the sun here. Something's going to be bright. Maybe some people won't like it, but uh, some, some people are going to like it because the sun is the most positive card of the deck. That's a yes card as well. Somebody going to say yes to something. This is a yes here. This is the lower version of the sun. Show me the past position. Hold on. Give me some more on this uh, six of pentacles, what was here. And somebody was too generous somewhere. Now it's caused a situation where, my God, that they had to sit here and secure something. Just got to get my balance, things like that. The sun is here as well. It also showed up here. Uh, something seemed bright. Just something love and romance situations would be out here as well. Let me move this out. Okay, something was forced. The sun is a forcible overthrow. So whatever's taking place, something was forced. You're dealing with somebody that's got pride and ego, pride and conceit and warding came out today as well. This queen of pentacles in the past was uh, with this queen of cups within, or something against them or for them or something like that. It could be family. Somebody um, need to use their intuition around some gift for something. There was third parties around something here. Okay, somebody traded. That's a trading card. Two people traded something, forced something. Now somebody's just like, my God. And so somebody had to really go within or somebody was a disguise. Okay? That this is filthy, dirty stuff in the in the Hebraic language. Uh, the hermit can catch a snake, but if this is in the negative, somebody got a snake in the basket, try to pull somebody down, pull them down in clay. Okay? Because there's money involvement somewhere. Um, some type of a judgment with the hermit is there. Let's take some words. You over you just pick through my hands. Next one for hours, some people ain't going to like something. You're going to feel insecure because there's a big change coming and it's going to be blown up in a very big way for this judgment. Okay? Somebody trying to figure out what to do here and there's insecurity around something or they're brainstorming, but the sun is there. And so that means that the great one's going to force something here. Yeah, rest. Now, uh, if you did catch the Cardinal Fix Immutable Sun readings that I did on my YouTube channel, those of you who follow me over there, somebody was being led to rest. And that word rest came out today in wording in the tarot um, as well. So something about resting is here. We have um, perfect success and emotional completion will be here. Well, so, and, and I guess for some people, they don't like it because some people are dealing with shame, guilt, and prison. Okay. And Jehovah says to repent. Uh, okay. And so, you know, that's why they're fighting people. Jehovah just keeps bringing it out over and over. Some of them go to prison. Uh, he brought out blood guilty stuff today. Okay, somebody is energy that I'm picking up since I obviously I focus on that stuff, but somebody is dealing with stupidness. Okay, something about a footstool. Well, the earth is Jehovah's footstool. He's, you don't want him to get up on you. You don't. Somebody go back and forth, back and forth. I don't know. I'm not going to open up because, again, that reading that I did earlier was a big time reading. Somebody was just so freaking turned off. Everything's always got to go your freaking way. Somebody was very controlling in that energy. And uh, somebody just, I guess because they're going to make a decision, they're going to walk away. Okay? And they're going to take this gift here from the great one. And somebody else just wants to sit here and hold on back and forth and be stagnant. And we see somebody also moving on. There's more than one party here involved in some stuff. So whatever the crap this was back here, somebody got paid off or a bribe or something because there was a disguise here. Somebody tried to catch somebody up in some stupid. It didn't pay off for them because now there's, there's, there's guilt and shame in prison. Uh, family wants healing with um, with family members, and you got some people trying to figure out how to do that. Some people are insecure. Uh, some people are, you know, some people don't want it. Some people do uh, for any given person. But uh, Yolva says that family does want healing with family. Okay, and so the person that don't want that, they're screwed. It's why because some people got shame, guilt, and prison on them because they're guilty of something. Okay, you have made a, a blessed union out here between a couple of people as well. Okay, and some people are fighting because there's competition around that kind of stuff for some of you all as well. Um, somebody has been back and forth in the matter. It's right here. They're in the now going back and forth. And somebody says, make up your mind already in that reading. Make up your mind already. Okay, well, somebody ain't going to make up their mind. Somebody's out of there, I guess. Jail, prison, and um, justice. Yes, it's here twice. And two cards. 
something about on a farm or a farmer is here, then so be it. But we also have a crazy freaking mental issue that is going on. Uh, yet in the midst of it, Jehovah has given hope to some people. Uh, we have the, the vice president, uh, either of a company or maybe even of the United States showing up out here, whatever that is. The Pentagon is here. Okay, well, then that'd be the vice president of the United States. The Pentagon came out to twice then today on a reading that I did earlier. And again, there's going to be a perfect success and somebody's going to feel emotionally um, complete and um, because there's going to be a judgment. There's, going to, there's a judgment on all the stupidness out here. Get get rid of the freak. There's a judgment here. Something's going to be complete. There's the world card to close something out. Okay? No. Thank you, Yehovah. Let Yehovah come in and blow the trumpet on something. The letter R is here. The letter Q is also here. We also have the letter H and the letter J. So the J and the H is here. Um... The H goes back to a sacrificing type of a rune. Somebody got pregnant out here, and now they're back and forth about it, okay? Because that's a pregnancy right there. That's love and romance, a pregnancy right here as well. And there was damage around the thing. Somebody initially did not want that baby, and something's coming out of that, okay? This is the Hagalaz. That's what that represents when it comes out, okay? Um, so somebody going to just, whatever, they're going to blow the trumpet on some stupid because some people want... They don't care. Whatever happened, you got pregnant, you didn't want that baby, you caused a freaking ruckus, and now I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and I got to get my balance because of something, and somebody won't heal with family, and something's come out of that ordeal, and there's jail and prison around some stupidness, and they made a damage out of something. It's too bad. The heavens are going to make some something happen here for somebody, okay? Uh, if, you, if you have sacrificed something, then fine. I guess you did. It, it, this, if somebody literally is in the occult sacrifice, and then you're going to go to prison for that crap. Uh, there's damage out here. There's debts and worries around some stupidness that's happened within the matter. Then so be it. This is a marriage arranged for a mutual interest out here. We got freaks out here. I know I want to marry the person. No, I've got an interest as well. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's really stupid. Anyway, that's what this represents. Or somebody's jealous around something for some of you all. The Queen of Pentacles in the negative can go to that. This is a manipulator in the negative here. Somebody traded something out. Okay, somebody was in their pride and conceit and paid somebody off for some stupidness. Okay, it's because there's jail and prison out here. All right. Anyway, the Jura is also a benefit uh, and uh, healing and recovery. It's going to happen because the family wants healing with their family. Three more messages. The wife. There is a committed relationship. And something also happened around somebody who neglected their their uh, responsibilities. And I guess they did. Whether it be uh, the committed relationship within a marriage or uh, on a job. There's love and affection out here. This is my Empress card. Okay. Somebody's got a love interest out here. There's love and affection. There is a baby out here. And a crazy mental issue out here in wording. This card represents somebody who's got a mental crazy mind. Okay. It's also a recovery card as well. You're also dealing with somebody who's got physical stuff that needs to be recovered as well. Or they've just been sick, so be it. But it is a mental card, and it comes out in the wording. Um, somebody is seeking advice for something, then so be it. It is out here. Well, there's a judgment. I just seen 1313, 13, and I did that yesterday on a reading, so, which is a 44, which is an angel number. And the angels are here to help people. They are. What else you want to bring out here, Yehovah? You just cut this deck for I don't know why people think that they can do some dirty stuff and damage some things up and they don't have to pay for what they did. Uh, they're hypocrites. The tower is out here. Known information. It's time for something. It's also government out here. We have the Pentagon out here. So, you know, this is Big Ben. Are you doing with somebody over in the London, Britain area, whatever? Then that's what that is here as well. But it is alterations and it's also a protection card as well. We have the grave. Well, there is death issues out here. They're sacrificing stupid. Somebody's crazy over some stupid and baby sacrificing has been out here. And uh, you're going to pay for that stuff. You're going to go to jail and you're going to go to prison for it. The last card is the moon. Something very much emotional. We have got mother situations, children situations, fear for some people, I guess. But that's also a love and romance, and something has been a burden. There's been prayers and divinity and things like that. But you know, if you're praying to the right one, uh, the judgment's coming, and uh, everything will be okay. Okay. Anyway, people, something's closing out, and it's going to actually be positive, and there is protection around somebody. Let the freak that needs to go to prison go to prison. It's out here twice. They are going to face it, whether they like it or not. Until next time, shalom.